Hello, this is Kieran from Server Pro, and today we're going to be doing something a little different. We're going to be doing a series where I'm going to be teaching you how to set up a very basic faction server. So this is going to consist of five different episodes which will be released on a weekly basis. There'll be short episodes where I'll be teaching you how to install plugins, change your server version to Spigot or Craft Bucket, install a world, set up the world with world guards so that it's protected and you've got flags so you can enable PvP in certain areas. And um, we're going to be setting up factions, essentials, kits, and probably a shop, and maybe some other things along the way. So this is going to be a nice little fun series which we're going to be doing. So hopefully this should help you understand how to set up a good basic faction server. So, let's get straight into the first episode. So here I've rented a very basic Minecraft server from our website at server.pro. And the first thing that we need to do is make sure that the server is running either Craft Bucket or Spigot so that we can install plugins. So to do this, go to the control panel and then click change under this type option here. And I'm going to be selecting Spigot as Spigot is a bit better than Craft Bucket as it's based on Craft Bucket and all Craft Bucket plugins work on Spigot. So if you choose Spigot, it's slightly faster and includes more bug fixes. So make sure you select Spigot, select the latest version or the version that you want to run the server on. If you want to run it on 1.8.8, feel free to select that or any version that you choose. But this tutorial, I'm just going to use the latest. And then select Java 8 and then either select yes or no to remove files. I'm going to select yes as this is going to be a completely fresh installation. So I'm going to click yes and then click install and then click OK, and then that will install Spigot on our server. So now that we've installed Spigot, we can go ahead and start choosing some plugins to install. So if you go to the plugins tab, then we're just going to install a couple of plugins. So to start off with, we're just going to install three. We're going to install World Edit, so click Install Latest there. We're going to install Essentials and World Guard. So what do these do? So World Edit allows you to edit your world, and it also allows World Guard to work. World Guard is a protection plugin which allows you to protect your spawn and different areas of your world so that people can't grief it. And then Essentials includes a collection of useful commands and features for your server, including nicknames, TPA, um, heal commands, etc. It's got hundreds of different commands. So it's very useful and it's great to have on a faction server. So we're only installing these three for now. We will be installing more later, but just keep it at these for now to keep it simple. So once you've installed them, click restart to load the plugins. So once you've installed these plugins and restarted the server, it's a great idea to find a faction spawn that has already been pre-made by someone on the internet. So if you go to Google and just search faction spawns, and then feel free to choose one of your liking. I've already found one on Planet Minecraft that I'm going to be using today. And you can build your own if you want to. I'm just going to be using a pre-made one for the tutorial as it saves a lot of time as building faction spawns can take up loads of time. So once you've found one, you'll need to download it onto your computer. So for this one, there'll be a link to it down below if you'd also like to use it. And then click the Download Minecraft World button. So we'll need to download this onto our computer and just save it to your downloads folder. Then once you've downloaded the world that you want to use, it doesn't have to be this one, it can be any Minecraft world on the internet that you want to use. Then go back to the control panel, go to the file manager, click upload file, choose files, and then select the file that we just downloaded. And then click upload from computer. Then once it's uploaded, select the .zip or .tar or whatever file it was you just uploaded and click unzip. And then this should reveal a folder. So as you can see here, it says faction spawn 98. So each world is laid out differently. So some worlds are just buying a folder by themselves. Some aren't. In this case, you have to go inside of this folder and then you have to move this folder into the main directory. So select it, click move and then select home and move again. Then go to home again and select the faction spawn 98 folder and the .zip and delete them just to keep your files clear. And then we can rename this to whatever we want. I'm just going to call it factions dash world and then click OK. Feel free to rename it however you want though. Just to double check your world files are correct, go inside of the folder and you should see a level.tat file. That indicates that you're in the correct folder. So once you've established that you have got the correct world folder, copy the folder name so you can see it just here. So just copy it, right click, copy and then go to the my server tab and then here where it says level name under the configuration, just highlight all of this text and click paste. So what this is going to do is select the correct world to load the server on. So once you've entered that, click save and restart and then your server should start up with that world and all the plugins loaded. So now let's join our Minecraft server and take a look at the world and the plugins that we've installed. 
So as you can see, I've just joined my Minecraft server and I've spawned in this um, cave or ravine. So what we'll need to do, we'll need to TP to the spawn. So for the specific world that I'm using on planet Minecraft, the creator has specified the coordinates. So as you can see, it's minus 25, 72, 66. So because we've got essentials, we can use the command slash TP POS, which stands for TP position, and then we can type the coordinates. But before we do this, we need to give ourselves access to use this command. So if you go to the control panel and then go to the operators tab, and then you'll need to OP yourself. So type your username in game and then click add, and then you should be able to run the command in game. So now that we've done this, let's go back, let's get the coordinates and let's type them. So if we type slash TP POS and then minus 25, 72 and then 66 and again this may be different for you or you may just spawn in the world so this may not be a necessary step however here we go so as you can see i've teleported to the spawn and it's all fantastic so now let's just go into game mode one just so we can fly around and take a quick look as you want to take a quick look at the spawn just to make sure it's something that you want usually on a faction server you want a drop down area like this into the pvp zone so that's fantastic that this has this so you may want to include this on your spawn too if you're building one yourself so now that we've got to our spawn we'll need to set the spawn point so if you go to the center of the spawn and stand in the block face the way you want players to spawn so i'm going to have them face this way so then once you're stood in that location, facing the direction you want them to spawn, type slash set spawn. And then now players will be able to use the spawn command. And when they join the server, they should be teleported to this location automatically. So that's all we're going to be doing in today's episode. So we've got a world, we've got a couple of plugins installed ready for the next episode. And we've set our spawn point. So in the next episode, we'll probably be protecting the spawn with world guard we'll be smoothing out the edges so it blends in with the world with world edit and we'll be doing a couple of other things so keep tuned next week when we release the next episode feel free to leave any comments down below with anything you'd like to see in these future episodes or for any tutorials you'd like to see added to the channel so thank you for watching i hope that you have a fantastic day goodbye and see you next time